it's almost nice to have a distraction when something like the the Panthers training camp opens up because like only the most talked about, most highlighted, biggest stories are going to cut through all of the, uh, hey, here's a college coach. Hey, here's a quarterback, right? We're at ACC kickoff with with all of that flashing in front of our face. So the stories that came out of Panthers training camp really had to be something to 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 get all the way to our brains, right, for us to hear it because we were obviously focused on getting the college football season started, kicked off, if you will. And I'll tell you right now, the thing that was brought to our attention the most, at least mine, Dennis, you can you can co-sign or, or do what you you, you feel, mm-hmm. were stories about the wide receivers. It's been a lot of talk. I, I mean, I felt like if if Xavier Leggett like had to tie his shoe more than once at the beginning of practice, I heard about it. If Deontay Johnson, you know, uh, if he didn't like the temperature of the 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 water and thus put down the water bottle and picked up another one, I was like, oh. Everybody's telling me about Deontay Johnson's hard to please. Like it, it, the 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 amount of information I got about the wide receivers was crazy, which is, I think, a little telling, right? Uh, you can kind of tell what the the masses are depending on to fix the problems of last year, based on where all of the eyeballs point during training camp. Because think about all of the positions for the Panthers that are crucial. Right, they had to replace uh, Brian Burns. By the way, they signed what was it, uh, Lou Ray uh, today? Right, they 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 actually brought in an additional veteran. Pass oh, so they rusher. actually did sign someone. Yes, okay, uh, I, I can that. I can tell you exactly who it is. Uh, I just saw it here. Of course, now it's going to be buried in my. This is why I hate Twitter. It's like I just saw it, and they're like, "You probably want to see everything but that." Um, yeah, but he, they 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 signed a veteran Colts pass rusher. Could be talking about that. That doesn't get blasted into our face could be talking about how they're going to replace Frankie Louvu in the linebacker core how's Josie Jewell doing no clue JC Horn how's he doing no idea who's getting the first team reps Miles Sanders or Chuba Hubbard I've seen very little I've seen a couple highlights from Miles Sanders but that's just because <laughs> video you know translates I think it's been Chuba I actually, I, I'm fairly confident it's Chuba, but nobody's talking about it. Yeah, and Dan Morgan said it, I think, during the offseason. Like, yeah, Chuba's the number one right now, and then they drafted down to the Brooks. <laughs> gotcha. Meanwhile, At this time. Meanwhile, I know that Xavier Leggett has not caught a pass in 11-on-11. 11 11. I know that he was uh, targeted deep and Bryce Young missed him inside. I know that Deontay Johnson has been the most active wide receiver. I know that Adam Thielen is out there running with the ones. I know that Jonathan Mingo is playing more confident and made a couple plays in 7-on-7 seven seven and 11-on-11 11 11 yesterday. I know what's going on with the wide receivers overwhelmingly the most reports that I'm hearing that are cutting through all of the distractions are about the wide receivers. Panthers fans, Panthers media, Panthers, their 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 atmosphere is looking to the wide receivers to change everything from last year. That's the difference. That's who has the pressure on them. If Bryce Young's going to be better, it's because of the wide receivers. If he's going to take a step back, it's because of the wide receivers. If Dave Canales is going to be a success, it's because of the wide receivers. I'm not saying that's actually the reasoning. I'm saying that's what it's going to be seen as because that's where everybody's looking. They are the, uh, what is it called in Magic? The the Flourish? Okay. Right? The Flourish is when I go, and I throw my hands in the air so everybody looks at my hands. Meanwhile, the assistant is changing, the the you know putting the rabbit in the hat or whatever. The wide receivers are what everybody's going to watch while Dave Canales is play calling, while the running game, while the ability for Bryce Young to get the ball out of his hands a little bit faster, while those end up actually being the thing that helps. Bryce Young spoke to the media after one of their practices, and uh, he gave praise to one of his newest wide receivers, Deontay Johnson. Deontay is very special in how he moves, how he creates separations, how he how he runs routes, and it's my job to to adjust to that and to make sure that um, I'm able to have the same timing to to get the ball out early, to know where he's going to be, being able to anticipate that. Um, and it takes time. I think we we're growing in that. Um, it's going to take more more time, more reps, more conversations, and that's definitely a big point of emphasis for me throughout this this training camp. Um, but. And he's someone that is very, very special in, in just what he can do. And uh, quarterbacks, you know, it, it's on us to adapt to that. That's the easy 
easiest adaptation of all time, right? That's basically Bryce saying, I was so used to throwing to covered guys last year, I have to get used to throwing to the open guy. It's like, you know, I might be like a little hesitant to throw because I'm like, wait a second, hold on. <laughs> what defender do I not mm, see that's got to be <laughs> got to be on his hip? There, where's those ghosts Sam Darnold was talking about? That, that's mm. uh, I, I tell this story occasionally. The first touchdown pass I ever threw in college uh, was a complete blown coverage, right? I mean, the the defensive backs just, whatever, forgot how to play football for a second. So a guy that should not have been open, like based on the defense they were playing, right? All of my studying, all my tape watch said he should not have been open, was just wide open down the middle of the field. And as I was dropping back, we had a play action. So I dropped my head, you know, looking at the running back, trying to sell it. I heard the entire crowd go, because <gasps> it was at home. And I was like, all right, someone's wide open. Like they're, 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 and and literally I saw the wide receiver and as quick as you can have those thoughts in, in the, the, uh, uh, the back of your head, like while you're playing, I threw it and I went. I, I just threw an interception. There's no way what I saw is actually what happened. There has to be a guy back there hidden. I didn't see his jersey. Then he caught it, and I was like, whew, lucky. Even though it wasn't lucky, Bryce Young's having those quick hesitations of like, Deontay Johnson is open. Where's the safety that's actually on his hip? Because all last year when I threw to a wide receiver on this route, there was somebody on his hip because he couldn't get separation. Either he's wide open or they're disguising something really yeah. good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get him killed here. I'm going to lay him out because I don't see the guy on the outside. That's a hilarious adjustment that a quarterback has to make going into his second year as, as a uh, NFL quarterback. Uh, he also talked about building chemistry with Xavier Leggett, who's making his first year as an NFL wide receiver. Here it is. I love the things that he's doing, how he's how he's working. Um, you know, you, you get a bunch of reps throughout individual, through, um, you know, through other – uh, periods um, and then team especially right now with where we're at where I'm at um, you know it's obviously you want to see what some of the new guys can do and give people new reps and opportunities but also it's a new system so uh, you know for us you know we take that into account but also we want to get uh, reps at you know working through reads working through progressions feeling stuff out um, you know trying to work from one to two to, to see these exact things and you know right now we're not game planning um, you know in training camp you just you know you kind of just rotate through there's a bunch of guys whoever's tired whoever's at one spot at one spot um, you know throughout the season uh, you know when it comes down to that and you start game planning you know you put specific people in uh, specific places so they can run their routes and have specific targets so you know obviously the coaches will, will handle that uh, when the time comes but right now it's just kind of how it's shaken up but there's tons of time moving forward to, to get more of those reps we actually during that uh that little sound bite there refresh my twitter feed we I'm, I'm not calling this breaking news so don't fire the sounder but I see what we hope is the future for Bryce Young. Go on. Tua Tungo Vailoa signing a four year, $212.4 million extension. So, oh, we are. Yeah, yeah, we are, yeah. Absolutely. We're going to throw this out there. So, what's that? 53 and change? You said four years at 50, what? 50, uh, 212.4. That's 53.1 million per year over four years for Tua. Uh, this according to Adam Schefter per his agency athletes 53. first. 53.1. 53.1. Um, now, obviously, we need to see what's real, what's fake, how much is a signing bonus, how much is guaranteed, uh, all of those things. But I want to remind everybody, an undersized, maybe a little shorter quarterback from Alabama that, that ha had a lot of success in college, drafted near the top of the draft, did not blow anyone's socks off, did not knock anyone over as a rookie, right? Mm -hmm. Remember, he was going back and forth with uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and uh, yeah. there, were, there were a lot of questions about if Tua was that guy. Um, better as a second-year player, Tyreek Hill involved. Uh, even better as a third-year player, even had some health scares in there uh, with the, the concussions on the field. Yeah. Uh, now comes out on the other side going into – I believe it's fourth year, right? If, if we're saying this correctly, going into year five. I think five. He signs a four-year, $212.4 million deal. That's the best-case scenario for Bryce Young. That's the best-case scenario for Bryce Young is after a rocky first year, he starts to turn around in a second year, and in like 24, 36 months, the Panthers are deciding he's the guy moving forward and he's going to be a $50-plus million per year player. Just got to go show it. So and, just gotta go show it. And the team has to do what the Dolphins did for Tua, mm -hmm. which is pair the entire team to his strengths. Because people forget uh, Tua's rookie year, uh, there was Preston Williams, there was Devontae Parker, there was Mike Gesicki. Those were like his main pass catchers. Mm -hmm. They're all six four plus jump ball contested catch guys. 
That's not what Tua likes. Tua likes to throw to space. So what did they do? Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle. Speed. Went, uh, <laughs> speed all <laughs> speed. over the place. And suddenly Tua looks like he did it in, in college. So the, the Panthers have to do what the, the Dolphins did for Tua, mm-hmm. and then hopefully Bryce will level up like Tua and then make himself $51.3 million per year. That's probably where the conversation revolving around the, the wide receivers has been so prominent is because right now, because they're in helmets, it's the one tangible thing that you can actually see because – How's someone going to do in the run game? Like, guys really aren't blocking each other. You know, there's really no, you know. Receivers don't wear leg pads in games. Exactly. They don't. <laughs> but it's the one thing that we can tangibly see. Okay, seven on seven. We know mm-hmm. day one Bryce was four of four. Mm-hmm. You know, like, that's something we can actually tangibly see. And I think that's the reason why there's so much conversation around that right now because it's the one thing close to actually playing football that they're doing. The Tua deal, according to Mike Garofolo of, uh, of NFL Network, highest – per year value on a four-year extension in NFL history. So he's going to get another bite at the apple a little bit faster than some of these other quarterbacks that have signed very, very big deals. Good on him. A lot of money for Tua Tungo-Vailoa. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. You can you can fire that one up one more time. Oh, there it is. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't know why I asked you to do that. 